So I'm at currently in my 10th year with the company. Um, my first production was Swan Lake. Out of college I auditioned for the company and was really lucky to get in and since then I've worked with them pretty much non-stop. Um, and this is my second time performing The Red Shoes. So my character is um, based very much on the film version, um, played by Moira Shearer. And Vicky is a passionate, ambitious young dancer who, you know, wants to be a famous ballerina, raised through the ranks of the company. But she dances quite differently. She dances from the heart. Like I said, she's very passionate. And the whole story is about her struggle between her love for dance and her love for Julian, who she falls in love with. And the side of dance represented by Lermontov, who's the company director. So her turmoil comes from that struggle. She's an amazing character to play. I go on a roller coaster of emotions and that struggle inevitably kind of drives her crazy and it's this real choice between love and art. So returning to a role that I've done before is very exciting and you, you come in knowing that you can do it. So you come back for round two with a bit more confidence, which is really nice. But then again, you have to go on another journey and find something fresh and something new and interesting to keep it exciting for audiences. And we have plenty of shows to find that, so I'm just excited to be returning. When we started creating the show last time and this role, we did start with the film, that was our starting point. And then from there, we did a lot of different research based on that time, ballerinas of the 1930s, 1940s. We yeah watched a lot of videos, YouTube, read books about dancers in that time. And we just start creating from there and thinking about what those characters would have been like, how they walked, how they interacted with each other. And working with Matt, we do a lot of creative tasks. There's a lot of collaborating, so it's a really lovely thing to be involved in when creating with him. So I approached this role fairly similarly to other roles. Like I said, we always start at that point of research and we research the time and the story we're telling. This was a, a little bit more difficult because she's a dancer, which uh, no other roles I've played before have been that, so I'm a dancer playing a dancer, um, which is a really interesting dynamic, so it was quite different. But yeah, we, we do a lot of research and that's really where we start with our character building. I would say it's been easy to embody Vicky Page because we have so many similarities, certainly at the beginning at least, you know, she's an ambitious, passionate dancer, which I like to think of myself as, and then she kind of goes off on a little trail that hopefully I won't end up going down. <laughs> With New Adventures, our number one goal is our storytelling and the dancing kind of happens around that. So we just have to completely embody our characters and make sure that the story is really getting across to the audience. And I think that's quite different. You know, a lot of other companies, you start with the material, whereas we like to start with intention. Why are we doing this step? Why am I interacting with that person? So that we can really tell a clear, exciting story. So a typical day of rehearsals for us is we have class at 10 a.m. So we're usually in around nine to warm up. And then we do class, we alternate between ballet and contemporary every day to keep both styles happening. And we work until six and we learn new material, uh, quite often run the show, work on lifts with one another. Two nights a week we work late um, and usually they're focused on more specific parts of the show like duets and things like that. So once we get on tour around the UK, we usually go to seven shows a week, which is slightly less than what we do at Sadler's Wells. And it's amazing to visit all these different cities. Uh, I've done it a few times now, so we're very familiar with the theatres and where to stay. We usually, again, have class at about 11.30, and we do a tech on the first day, and then we open that night. So the first day, which is usually a Tuesday, is very busy. Then we do shows throughout the week. We usually have a double on Thursday and a double on Saturday. It's really fun, because we're all together. We're all away from home. We're all working really hard, so we have a really good time, and we really bond with each other. And touring's one of the best things about being in this company and we get to take this show all over the UK and all around the world as well. So this time round I'm actually a dance captain of this production which is really nice and something I've really wanted to do for a long time and it seems perfect to be a dance captain in a show that I've already done and a show that I helped create so I feel like I have a lot of that original knowledge to pass on to the new cast because we have a lot of new company members in um, this show. and. It's a lot of work doing that alongside a principal role, so I really have to make sure that I'm on top of my stuff and I know what I'm doing and I, I know their choreography as well as my own so I can give notes and make sure we're all on track, but it's really lovely to be doing that. 
My favourite part of this show, it's actually Vicky's first solo and it's a scene that comes from the film where she is going to audition for Lermontov at a party and in the film he actually says I will not be watching that audition but in our version we actually go through with it and it's just a really beautiful dance and it's a beautiful costume and I love doing it and it's the first thing I do so I'm always very nervous right before it and once that's done I can breathe so I love that solo it's one of my favorite moments in the show also we have this amazing curtain arch thing that moves throughout and it takes us from front to backstage and Les Brotherston our designer just did an absolutely amazing job on it and it's really, really magical. It really makes the whole show come together. I really hope audiences leave after watching The Red Shoes completely inspired and moved. It's an emotional, sad, dramatic story. So hopefully we touch a few hearts, maybe have a few tears and just have everyone really enjoying their night.